So, now we come to the applications of the second law of motion and to understand the applications I would uh, I'd request you to get both the forms of, of the equation right. So, we had seen that f is equal to m into v minus u upon t and it is this which became f is equal to m a. Normally, normally what we say is, is this is the Newton's first law of the second law of motion sorry this, but I would I'd, I'd like you to understand that both are the same thing and this is more fundamental than this correct. This is more fundamental the upper one is more fundamental than the lower one fine. So, now, now you will understand it better. So, what happens suppose there is a there is a there is a fellow uh, say th th there is a ball moving in this direction and and there is a player here. So, so there is a player here who is who is who is standing to 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 catch this ok. So, so maybe he, he is standing there to catch this ball fine in his hand. Now, what happens? What happens? The the ball when it hits his hand has got some velocity right. So, so the velocity is 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 u so so the momentum is m u. Then this fellow after holding the ball pulls his hand behind for some time right. So, so let us say he brings his hand here and and actually this is how he he holds it finally. So, the ball now is in the end it is here and its velocity is m into v that is equal to m into 0 which is equal to 0 you understand. So, the final velocity is 0. So, what is the change in momentum? So, m v m v minus m u is equal to is equal to 0 minus m u. So, that is minus m u right. This is the change in momentum ok. Now, so, 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 so this is fixed whosoever catches it the change in momentum will be the same the same ball suppose the same ball is coming in whosoever catches it he will he will actually bring about a change in momentum that will be this. Now, now what happens the fellow because the force the force and and you will have to apply what kind of a force what kind of a force will have to be applied on this ball the force will have to be applied in in this direction is it not by your hand you have to apply the force in this direction why because that is how the ball will retard right. The ball will get retarded is it not because you are decelerating the ball it had some velocity you brought that velocity to 0 is it not. So, so what happens? So, what happens? So, so, so hmm? against the motion of the ball just think you will have to apply that force against the motion of the ball otherwise ball will start accelerating. You have to stop the ball no ultimately when you are taking a catch you have to stop the ball fine. So, the so the force will have to be applied in a direction opposite to the motion then only it will be a retardation. Now, what happens this is equal to that. So, what is force force is equal to the change in momentum divided by time. Now, if someone takes more time to he takes more time to slow down that means, the amount of force that he will be applying will be less. So, he will be catching the ball far more softly fine do we understand that if the time taken is more if the time taken is more then then what happens if the time taken is more 
then the magnitude of the force then the magnitude of of the force goes down correct hence a smaller amount of force hence a smaller amount of force is required to stop the ball is it not and you must you must be remembering as children what we used to do we used to kind of go and lunge onto the ball no we kind of keep our hand steady and will not let it move as children when you were catching things for the first time so what happens if you take a less amount of time if time t is less then the magnitude of the force then the magnitude of force then the magnitude of force would become very high is it not it will become very high fine and you'll hurt your hands fine there is another there is another aspect also to that if 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 the ball applies more force on you you apply more force on the ball then the then the chances of the ball jumping off your hand becomes more so you you'll most likely most likely miss the ball correct so so that is one of the examples fine the the second example you must have seen those those um, the the pole vault right the pole jumpings what do they do there is there is a there is a pole out here and and the fellow comes from here and and you must have seen there they use a pole right they they use a they use a pole like that and what happens the pole and then there is a, a man here uh, maybe say in this direction and he he somehow okay he somehow right and he jumps here when he jumps here what happens you must have seen in olympics that there is there is listen there is a lot of cushioning here so when when, when this fellow say falls falls here kind of like this okay so so you'll see you'll find him find that there's cushion and he falls on that otherwise falling from say a height of some 12 15 20 feet he'll he'll break his skull so if the fall of a pole vaulter is cushioned is cushioned by by a soft material then he hits this point with with some force correct here and then he sinks maybe to this point and here his velocity is mu here his velocity is mv is equal to 0 when he when he sinks down and the more is the time that you take the lesser is the force that he feels is being applied on on his on his body and and he'll he'll feel that someone has softly softly made him stop the same thing with the nets that the circus artists uh, they they put below their acrobatics right so um, is cushioned by a soft material or or a circus artist is cushioned by a net 
then what happens as t increases the force decreases and they do not and they do not feel feel pain okay otherwise it will be fatal the fellow falling from that height he'll die correct the same thing is used by the karate people what do they do what do they do the the karate karate people what they do is is they they'll they'll bring their hand and with a jerk they'll they'll take it back fine so what happens they'll they'll bring their hand forward and back you must have seen that kind of this and they want the time of impact to be as small as possible so what are they trying to do first of all first of all so do i raise this fine so what happens this is the third one okay so the martial artists the martial artists bring forth and back their their hands very quickly so what happens suppose this is their hand fine this is their hand this this is their hand and it and it comes ahead okay so it had some mu right and they take it back so this had some mv so what happens what is the change in momentum so change in momentum is change in momentum is final final minus minus initial why minus initial the directions are different opposite so maybe i take this as this direction as this direction as positive so i'll have to take this as negative this is the convention that i'm applying so mv minus minus mu by t so that gives me say m into v plus u upon t now what happens you understand how fast you take back your hand that is also adding to it correct otherwise what would have happened if we had hit and just put our hand like that then it would have led to less amount of force so so taking our hands taking their hands back taking their hands back very swiftly and making t as small as possible as small as possible we we can change in momentum upon time okay so 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 we are talking about the force so force is that and making t as small as possible we can increase the impact to a very large value to a very large value we understand and and this is what they actually utilize fine